Federal authorities have charged Ahmad Khan Rahami with planting a series of bombs in New York and New Jersey. According to the criminal complaint unsealed late Tuesday, Rahami vowed to martyr himself. Documents include an excerpt from his journal where he writes, the sounds of the bombs will be heard in the streets, gunshots to your police, death to your oppression. Other details are emerging one day after Rahami was taken into custody after a shootout with police. His father says he contacted the FBI two years ago, concerned his son was a terrorist. His father later retracted that claim, and the FBI said they found nothing connecting Rahami to terror groups. And did you, you later retract that? You told that? that to the FBI? You yes. called them and told them? Yes. And what did they say? They're not doing the job. They, did, they didn't do their job? Back in 2011, Rahami was briefly employed by Summit Security, a company contracted to work at the Cranberry, New Jersey offices of the Associated Press. AP Global Security Chief Danny Spriggs says he learned this week that Rahami worked as a night guard for two months and often spoke to coworkers about his anger with the United States. He, he did often talk about the Taliban and believed that the U.S.'s position toward the Taliban as a terrorist organization was unfair and that uh, a lot of good had come as a result of the practices and the, and the ideology behind the Taliban. The AP contacted law enforcement officials this week about Rahami's employment. The AP was told Rahami left that job in 2011 because he wanted to take a trip to Afghanistan and was denied the time off. He, at one time, he expressed interest in being an officer. Retired police officer David Yonvery had a very different experience with Rahami. He lived next door to the family in Edison, New Jersey, for close to a decade. Never said anything bad about the government. Never, never, never asked to see my weapon or anything. Nothing. I mean, just a quiet kid. Back in New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio toured the Chelsea neighborhood where 31 people were hurt. Besides some yellow tape, shattered glass, and shaken nerves, life in the city has returned to normal. I'm not in fear. You know, I, uh, I keep my eyes and ears open, but I do my thing. Rahami remains hospitalized with gunshot wounds. In New York, David Martin, the Associated Press.